Hey, what's going on, Jay Squad? It's your host, JW. Of course, you know what to do. Like, comment, of course, subscribe to the channel. Now, last week we talked about, you know, made in God's image and uh, God's creation, created mission. But now we're going to pick up in Genesis. We're going to start with the fall. So let's go ahead and read. Now, the serpent was more crafty than any other beast on the field that the Lord had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say, You shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruits of the tree in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that's in the midst of the garden. Neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You, sh you will not surely die. For God, for God knows that when you eat it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was delight to the eyes, and that the tree was so desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. The eyes of both were open, and they knew that they were both naked, and, and they sewed fig trees together, and made themselves loaneth cloth. And they heard that the Son of the Lord God walking in the garden, in the cool of the day, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord, uh, God among the tree of the garden. But the Lord called to the man, and he said, uh, where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you, sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I, and I hid him myself. He said, Who told you you were you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to me to be with me, she gave me fruit of the of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord said to the woman, What is it that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. The Lord said to the serpent. Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock, and above all beasts of the field. On your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put empty between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your, he your head, and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain and, and childbirth bearing, and pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be country to your husband, but he shall rule over you. Now, what is uh, Galatians 3, 1, 7 talking about? Well, let me explain. What it's talking about was, Ad see, Adam and Eve re see, represented a profound paradox. They are They are seamlessly the crowning achievement of God's creation, God's creation created in his very image and the symbol of mankind's greatest failure. In verse 1, the servant appeared in paradise. With no introduction, the servant symbolizes something both fascinating and Lutheranism. Yet neither Adam nor Eve saw the danger embodied in the serpent. The danger of the creation was quickly realized in verse 8, after Adam and Eve were enticed by its suggestion and, and drained into the, into the d death of sin. According to, to his custom, Ad God came walking through the garden in the cool of the day. And for the first time, Adam and Eve hid from him in shame because of their sinful disobedience. But in Romans 5, 12, 21, it says, Paul takes his, his readers back to this very moment in history and, and, and offers a divine insp uh, inspired in interpretation. He explained that Adam's sin led to the downfall and death of the entire human race. Though one man, Adam, death came, yet though, though one man, Jesus Christ, grace and his gift of God's eternal life were given. But you see, the works of these two men, Adam and Jesus, are not merely opposite for one another. 
Christ's works, the work of the, of the redemption of accomplishing on the cross is far greater for it, for it brings God's life and redemption to those who are spiritual dead. The death of Adam spreads to all, but the life of Christ overcome, overcame him. Though Adam disobedience death resigned in the world stood condemned before God. In the face of condemnation, Jesus offered hum humanity the free gift of salvation by the faith that resulted in justification that, that is to say, the aim of his, his gift is to justify, remove uh, condemna condemnation from these who stood condemned. The glorious promise provides re remarkable Oh, for those who are in Christ, they have been reborn by the power of God, and their status is transformed from being in Adam to in Christ. In turn, they receive the inheritance promised to all to 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 all those who are in Christ, and avoid the wrath of those who are in Adam. So much greater. And the work of Jesus, then the sin of Adam. And to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and I have eaten and I and have eaten of the tree of which I command you command you, you shall not eat of it. Curse is the ground because of you, and pain you shall eat of it all the d days of your life, thorns and thistles, it shall bring forth to you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the wear of your face, you shall you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for for out of it you were taken. From for you are dust, and dust you shall return. And the man called his wife, name Eve, because she was the mother of a living. Of the living, of all livings, the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skin and cloth them. The Lord God said, Behold, the man hath become like one of us in knowing good and evil. Now, lest he reach out his hand and take also of the tree of, of life and eat and live forever. Therefore, the Lord God sent him out from the garden of Eden to work the ground for which he was taken. He drove out the man in, at the east of the Garden of Eden. He placed a cherubim and a flaming sword that, that turned every way to guard the way, the tree of life. Alright y'all, I'm going to uh, stop right there. But come back Wednesday. And we're going to be talking about, about Cain and Abel. And it's... And and we're, I'm going to be discussing about from Genesis one to two of what of uh, you know what it really means. So come back Wednesday. All right. Until then, it's your host JW. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Later.